Hi, today I want to talk about what kind of palette you might want to use in painting. Hello everyone, my name is Mike Svob and welcome to my channel. I've been an artist and a teacher for over 30 years and I've decided to start this channel to help you become a better artist. Now if you stay with us, I will answer your questions on a weekly basis about how to become that better artist. I've got a bunch of different palettes here and then I've got the one I use in the studio which you see in the other videos. But what I want to talk about is the practical things that happen with using a certain type of palette. Now, I've got a couple of palettes here which are called Stay Wet palettes. And the idea of these is they are sealed. They have a sponge in the bottom. You can see here, there's a sponge, goes in there. The idea is water, paper, paint, seal it, and it'll last, okay? Now here's a bigger version of this. This is a 12, 16 version, I guess, would be the size in inches. So it's a little thicker. You can use either side to mix paint on, but inside, we've got a bigger area, but the same thing, paper, sponge, and a lid. Now the problem with these is that you can get mold in them and they can go off. Once you've got mold in one of these things, you really have to clean it well to get rid of the mold, but you don't want to get there. So if you paint enough, you won't have that issue. Now, what's the other issue with these? The other issue with these is the amount of water that you use in the sponge or wherever else in here will be absorbed into the acrylic paint. So if you have quite a wet sponge in there, what you're gonna have when you open your palette up later, when you've set it aside for a week or two, is your paint's gonna be really runny. And that's one, one of the reasons I don't use these anymore. I tend to go with what I have out when I'm painting, and then when I'm done, I throw whatever I didn't use away. In my studio, I have a glass palette, and I have a paint box that I use. It's a bead box, I have the wells full of paint, I put as much out as I need, and then I put the lid on, similar to this, but I don't put a sponge in it or anything like that. I paint fairly regularly so I don't have an issue with the paint drying out. You know, if I wait several weeks, it will dry out, or a month or something, even in the paint box. So I do have that a problem occasionally. Now there are a couple other things about this. This is just the paper for the inside of these things and it comes in various sizes so you can replace the paper. This here is another type of palette. It's a handheld palette, right? And you hold it like this. This one happens to be gray. This is supposed to be a mid-tone gray. I think it's a little bit light, but anyway, generally this is a handheld palette and I've used these a lot in oil painting, but in acrylic paint, I found if you tip it like this, all the paint slides off. So you have to deliberately, consciously hold it flat all the time. One of the things I did when I did some great big paintings is I used garbage can lids, which are, they have a, they're convenient, they have a handle on the bottom, they have a rim around it, and you can put all your paint here and it runs to the middle and it doesn't fall out. But this is another version of that. So this is a gray palette so you can match value, but those are some of the things you might want to use as a palette. I suggest you don't use wood though because wood and acrylic don't really get along very well. It absorbs in and getting the paint off isn't gonna happen, it'll stick, it'll glue itself to it, so stay away from the wood palette. Plastic, paper, some artists use tin foil, I use glass, there's stay wet palettes, there's all kinds of things, they all work, but your preference will be according to how much you paint and the style you paint in, the method you paint in. The glass palette I have at home that I use in my studio, similar to the ones that are in some of the demonstrations I do, are used because the paint dries and I let it dry completely. I don't scrape it off right away, but I let it dry completely. I spray it with water. I take a scraper and scrape it off and it goes right into a garbage can, which I have right beside where I'm working. It's very convenient that way. It's easy to clean. It's huge. It's about the width of this table. And that way I have lots of surface to mix up paint on. When I'm doing big paintings, it's really useful, but I find it small sometimes still. so. Even a bigger one would work, but the problem is just the reaching and the, you know, just the physical dimensions of working that way. So 
I've got a size that works well for me in my studio, and I suggest glass is probably the best solution in the long run, if it's permanent. I hope you found this information useful. Now, I have a handout called How to Fix Your Painting, and you can get it by clicking on the link below. Thank you for watching.